You mentioned that we should stay away from people who don't know the category of fools. Isn't it our obligation to reach out and help them to seek knowledge instead, stay, instead of staying away from them? Uh, yes. Uh, in, in accordance to the classification of that scholar, rahimahullah ta'ala, remember he puts this kind of category who's willing to learn, who's willing and accepting to, to change. He calls that what? The category of a seeker, not of a fool, of an ignorant. The ignorant uh, category is the category of those whom you have tried with. And I said, they are always um, happy with what they are, and they are proud with what they are, and they are arrogant about what they think they know when they don't know, and they're not open to knowing, they're not open to change. That's the category that he's talking about. Though some people whom Allah gave more insight, more knowledge, and more patience may even deal with these types of people with some hope, if there is a glance of hope that these people may one day change even a bit, then yes, they should try to help them. As long as that they know that this is go not going to be, uh, the consequences of this interaction is not going to be detrimental to them. Because some of us, we don't have enough weight, enough intellectual weight or enough moral weight to deal with some people. If you stay with them, then they turn you, <laughs> they turn you like themselves. You try you know, to go to a drug addict, a professional drug addict, and, and you're a young person who, who is still motivated by hormones and so on, say, I'm gonna do da'wah to this guy. And then you may go do that and end up a drug addict yourself later. He will turn you into a drug addict. Because simply, you have not matured enough in ilm and in experience and in taqwa and you're not equipped enough sometimes to deal with that. So you acknowledge that that's part of knowing to acknowledge I don't know. Not everyone can deal with everyone. Sometimes you can deal with your own daughter and with your own son. So it's wise to get someone else to talk to them instead. Because at this point your son or your daughter, either because it's your fault or their fault, there is um, not enough um, in your mind or in hers or in your heart and in hers enough to enable you to communicate properly and for, she, for, she to, for her to respect you as she should. And if that's not there, unfortunately, that's why she has a problem. Sometimes you may have to have access to someone else to do that. So it doesn't mean that if someone is not helped by our ways that there is no way that can uh, that can help him or her. We look for other ways, inshallah. The, uh, the other question is, uh, which one should I go at first? Yeah. Um, let me look at this first. <clears throat> 